Forest. We're joined now by our environment analyst, Roger Harabin. And talk us through the extent of the flooding we're seeing in the Thames. Well, there has, of course, been relentless rain, as we know, right across the south of England. And it is having widespread and increasing effects. Let's take a look at this Environment Agency map. And the areas in red there show the areas where there is severe flood risk. And you can see the extent right from Swindon over there in the west through to Slough. It's a very long stretch. And people downstream of Maidenhead and Windsor are complaining that a channel created to take waters away from, the, from, from those towns called the Jubilee River is dumping excess water on them. So water taken from one place in the Thames is being shifted to another. Nobody wants it. Well, are there any other causes? Yes, I mean, let's t uh, take a look at this uh, map of the catchment of uh, the Thames. It shows hills on both sides of uh, the river, uh, the higher ground there with the Thames running down the middle. Uh, the North Downs on one side, the Chilterns on the other. There are really big questions being raised now about the land management on those hills. Are we denu have we denuded the hills? Should we be reforesting them? And the idea now from professionals is to catch the water where it falls. By holding the water up nearer where it lands, it's possible to slow it down so that when it builds up, because in the Thames Basin, for example, it takes several days to build up before it gets downstream towards the outskirts of London. If you can hold the water up and slow it down, then the peaks are much lower, the water levels are much lower, and the water can pass through the Thames through London at a lower level more safely. But you have to flood some of the upland areas. But you have to compensate people when you do that. So, Simon, I think here we're seeing the start of a proper national debate in which we ask ourselves, where are we going to catch the rainfall? Who's going to be affected and who is going to be compensated? And maybe move away now from some of the name calling that Norman Smith was referring to.